All right, Jeff's up first. He says, BB and crew, new client, brand new website, starting from scratch, wedding venue niche. I'm just finishing on-site titles, metas, headers, alt tags, content, etc. Looking ahead to off-site, I know that the following will be part of the mix, Google Drive stacks, syndication network, and press releases. Is there a specific order you prefer to create these in? And if so, what's your preferred, preferred, preferred order and why? And I do have a preferred order. Um, I believe it's outlined in the battle plan also, Jeff, but uh, yeah, I'll certainly cover it here for you as well. Let me just finish reading your question. I'm sure you've gone over this stuff in the past since this is something that occurs on a regular basis. Yes. So if this has been answered on another hump day, hang out, just point me in the right direction. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll run through it. It's a fairly simple, uh, easy process. I always start with the syndication network. Like I have that typically being built while I'm working on the site. So that way, once the site is done, uh, you know, because it takes a few weeks for the syndication network to get completed. Then uh, when I'm done with the site, the syndication network is typically done by that point, And we can start to post the seed or the, the initial articles out. The, the posts get syndicated out. And I, I usually do three to five posts for any new website launch. So and I'll drip those out. It depends on the industry, uh, you know, how how slow I'll drip them out or how quickly, really. Um, but it's I always do a minimum of three, but often five posts, curated posts, uh, which I just have one of my VAs do. And that way I start to seed the network. And then once... I start dripping the posts out is when I usually order the drive stack because that takes a couple weeks to get back. And so by the time that several, at least two or three posts, maybe even all five have been posted to the network, uh, the drive stack is now completed. At which time I also, if it's for local, I, which it is in your case, um, I always order citations around the same time that I order the drive stack so that both, all of that's being built while I'm still kind of seed, seeding the network with content. Then last but not least, press releases. Uh, you know, I do that typically one press release when the site is first launched or goes live. But you can, I can, uh, recently I've been waiting until the drive stack's done uh, to launch or publish the first press release because I typically link to one of the drive stack, stack properties, whether it's the Google site or one of the folders or whatever. Um, but then from that point forward, uh, recently I've been doing a lot of uh, press release stuff. So I usually do about one press release every two weeks for a new property. Until I get it in the three pack, which sometimes happens in just two press releases. Sometimes it takes, you know, five or six, but I typically get it. Um, that That's that's usually the the same timeline that I follow every single time. So just to recap, and then I'll, I'm, I'm happy to hear some other people's opinions as well. Um, start with the syndication network while the site's being built. So when the syndication network is completed, typically the site's done by then. I have some seed posts curated and ready uh, to be dripped out to the blog. Um, as soon as I start dripping those out, I'll order the drive stack and, uh, the, and citations also at the same time. And then once I get the drive stack back and the citations back, typically all my seed posts have been posted or published. And um, from that point forward, I do a uh, press release about every two weeks until I get into the three pack. Anybody want to comment on that? I think it's solid. That's absolutely solid. The thing you have to watch out for in the beginning too is just not to hit things too hard too fast because then you create a, a velocity that's you have to sort of mimic and continue to, to, to ramp up from so as long as you're dripping things like that in a, in a very gradual fashion it, it should work just fine yep your audio is popping by the way your mic is popping jeff oh, okay okay oh oh man i'll map it out here okay okay no worries uh if, but yeah if i can I add totally... something go ahead just real quick all of our, our hump day hangout videos are time stamped for those who are new. So if, if, if you don't want to wait, like if you don't want to wait until Wednesday to see if your question has been answered, you can just go to the channel, uh, youtube.com forward, sla forward slash semantic mastery and just do a channel search and you, you're, you'll, you'll come up. If you, if you post the right question, you'll come up with the answer. Yep. Uh, last thing I wanted to mention that is I agree with Jeffrey hundred percent about the timing. So velocity, in other words, you don't want to start come out of the gate swinging with everything all at once, because then you have to pretty much maintain that level of uh, link building and all that. And it's, it's too much. And so for newer sites, that's why I like to do that exact process that I just laid out guys in that specific order, because it's kind of a slow ramp up. And then once I hit it with the press releases, it gets a flood of inbound links, but that's natural because it's a press release. So, um, you know, and again, then I just continue citation building, publishing on the blog. And then uh, now I publish press releases regularly, too, until I get the desired results. And then um, then I kind of scale back a bit once I get there. So 